this project is about repairing and then rebuilding a Heathkit SB200 linear amplifier. Of course, the first thing we do is remove the cover and solder the filters from the circuit board. This circuit board looks in very bad shape, much more smaller than the old ones. But these are 390 microfarads. The others were 125. First, we go through the printed circuit. You have to remove these wires because they pass through the circuit board. Okay. These wires go to the circuit breakers and they are full of dust a white powder that may have come from an exploding electrolytic capacitors this is the antenna relay and it looks in pretty good shape it looks like new and also the ventilator the fan looks pretty good and these are vintage electrolytic capacitors uh, it's a shame but i will have to replace them the cabinet is very neat it's very neat and it looks almost brand new if you want to remove the printed circuit board you have to remove the circuit breakers otherwise you won't be able to pull it out it's kind of complicated and maybe i don't know yet remove the meter no it's coming out it, it came out it's okay now now I'm going to show you uh, all the damage that happened on the printed circuit board. This is all burned, overheated. It's a huge hole here on the PC board. This guy made some jumpers. Bad repair, of course. A lot of bad repair. Next, they should measure 30,000 ohms. And this one, this is overheated. They measure from 22,000, 24,000, 26,000. We bought new ones. These are 6 watts. And I am going to replace them by 10 watt, 30,000 ohms. Got it. It's wide enough and it will be cut exactly to the same size as the heat kit original. The screws. The, the holes for the different screws. Start drilling with 116 bits and then go up to 532. I didn't want, but finally I had to remove the panel meter. And then I discovered a different color this is the original color it means that this needs a wash we came very close with the position of the holes concerning the chassis now you have to secure the new layout with lots of scotch tape here permanent pilot marker but I don't think this is enough so I will use some nail paint now the printed circuit is ready for the swimming pool we have the ferric chloride here and then here we go okay okay we have about 20 minutes now and this is almost ready all the copper foil is gone as you can see the printed me... circuit is ready the new circuit board for the power supply of an SB200 heat kit linear amplifier <laughs>